Okay, you guys, I'm back for a full day wash routine. I got my conditioner. You're going to need a comb, a plastic bag, and a towel for your deep conditioning. So we're just going to get started. So you guys, I know this quality is not that good, but I promise it will get better um, in, the in the next half of the video. I apologize. But here I am detangling my hair. It has been over a month since I washed my hair, so it's truly, truly been neglected. I've just been wearing it in a top knot and not combing it but here i am finger detangling first and i normally don't tell people to comb their hair when it is in a dry state but in this case because of the state of my hair i had to do it and it was shedding so much from me not combing it for over a month i know unacceptable but it happens sometimes so here i was just combing it through making sure to get all the shedded hair out and then i'm going to go ahead and put in my deep conditioner you guys know this is homemade so it's not something you can go out and get and we are just going to continue the process of deep conditioning my hair when i get through deep conditioner section i just go ahead and twist it up and then i'll start on the next section Okay, here is my hood deep conditioner plastic bag and a skull cap, you know how we do around here. Um, so that's what it looks like. And this is all the hair that I lost in the process. Not too much, but a lot more than if I would have washed my hair when I was supposed to, which is once a week. So I am going to go ahead and let this product sit in my hair for about one to two hours. You guys know I normally deep condition overnight, but I was in a rush this day. I didn't have time for that. So I am going to go ahead and deep condition for one to two hours. So here we are in the shower. I have deep conditioned for two hours and we are going to go ahead and start the washing process. So I'm going to take all the little twists out of my hair and then I'm going to rinse my hair with warm water so that I can rinse out all of that um, conditioner. It feels so good and nice and moisturized. My hair definitely needed moisture. I have definitely been neglecting it for the last month um i don't take it from me don't do this is not recommended i should be washing my hair at least once a week so hopefully i can get back on track with that next i'm going to use the Afigy shampoo for damaged hair and my hair is not necessarily damaged but i'm using this because i have not been taking care of my hair as i should for the last month so that kind of helps um put back in the moisture and do the balance of um, your pH in your hair and kind of just bring your hair back to life. So I love to use this product whenever I've neglected my hair. Okay, now that I have washed my hair twice, I'm going to go ahead and wring out as much water as I can. And I'm going to use the Afigee Balancing Moisturizing Conditioner. This also helps with strengthening and building back up the um, strands of your hair. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into my hair. <music> Thank you. 
Once I have that product in my hair, I'm gonna let it sit for 20 minutes before washing it out. And here it has been probably about 30, 40, cause you know, I just never can do stuff for 20 minutes. I get into doing something else. And I am going to rinse my hair in cool water. You guys know when you rinse out your conditioner, you definitely want to rinse it out in cool water so that you can close those cuticles and lock in the moisture. I am a firm believer of this. And as I'm gonna show you later, my hair is gonna be nice and shiny and healthy. And I do attribute that to rinsing my hair out in cool water. So here I am getting as much water out of my hair as I can. And I am going to t-shirt dry for about 30 or 40 minutes um probably was more like an hour or two so yeah um t-shirt drying really helps with um soaking up the water so here i am after about 40 minutes take the t-shirt out and this is what my hair is looking like it's looking real wild you can still see the texture in there you guys you guys know that i text like my hair so it's not going to be bone straight and i really love how it looks so i'm just going to section my hair off and get started with the blow drying process Hey you guys, so this is what my hair is looking like after it is completely blow dried and now I'm going to get ready to flat iron my hair. I haven't flat ironed my hair in almost three or four months so this will be something new for a little while. I'm just not into using heat on my hair anymore so I don't flat iron it as much as I used to. I actually like how it looks like it's looking right now in a blow dry state. I can definitely deal with my hair being like that but I decided to go ahead and flat iron it. And so I am sectioning off my hair. When I flat iron, you guys know I section two sections in the front and then the back is a whole section within itself because I just find it easier that way when I am flat ironing. Um, here I am going to change positions so I can see what I'm doing and you guys can see what I'm doing too. I was showing you that I was using the bio silk um, to put on my hair before I flat ironed it and now I'm going to just section my hair off in the back and start the flat ironing process.
Hey guys, in this clip, I'm just showing you what my hair looks like after I blow dry it. This is no product in my hair. I have, well, not any products besides what I put in there when I, right before I blow dried it. But there's no bio silk or anything. And this is how shiny my hair is, either after neglecting it for a month. And this is the final look of my hair after I flat ironed it. It is so bouncy, shiny. It just looks amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.